Imagine it's a rainy day. You're walking down the street, umbrella in hand, dodging puddles, and you notice water swiftly disappearing into those graded holes near the curb. Ever wonder where all that water goes? Or how cities don't completely flood every time there's a heavy downpour? That's the unsung job of storm drains. These quiet structures tucked away at the edge of roads are part of an intricate system designed to protect our streets, homes, and even our health. Today, we're diving into how do storm drains prevent floods, right here on History of Simple Things. At first glance, a storm drain looks pretty simple. It's usually a metal grate on the side of a street. But beneath that grate lies a complex network of underground pipes and channels. These systems are specially designed to carry rainwater, and only rainwater, away from urban areas to prevent pooling and flooding. Storm drains are part of a larger network known as the stormwater drainage system. Unlike the sewer system, which handles water from sinks, toilets, and showers, storm drains deal solely with runoff from rain or melting snow. This separation is crucial because it keeps untreated rainwater from mixing with waste that needs to be processed. When rain hits natural land, most of it gets absorbed into the soil. But in cities, where pavement, concrete, and rooftops dominate the landscape, rain has nowhere to go. Instead of soaking into the ground, it flows over surfaces, what engineers call runoff, and heads straight to the lowest point it can find. Without storm drains, this runoff would accumulate quickly, especially during heavy rainfall, causing localized flooding. And in flat areas or places below sea level, the risk is even greater. Storm drains help cities function during storms by quickly channeling this water away from streets, driveways, and buildings, sending it to rivers, lakes, or treatment facilities, depending on the design. So how does the system actually work? When it rains, water flows from rooftops into gutters, then down to the street. From there, it enters the storm drain through the graded inlet. That's where gravity takes over. Most stormwater systems are gravity-fed, meaning water travels downhill through pipes until it reaches an outfall, a place where the water is released, often into a natural body of water. Some areas, particularly flat or low-lying regions, may require pumps to help move the water through the system. In these places, storm water is collected in large underground basins or detention ponds and then pumped out once the storm passes. A lot of planning goes into building a storm drain system. Engineers study rainfall data, soil types, slope angles, and even how much of a city is covered in hard surfaces. The system has to be able to handle the worst case scenarios those 100-year storms without overwhelming the infrastructure. Now let's get to the big question. How exactly do storm drains prevent flooding? It all comes down to speed and capacity. The faster water can move away from the streets, the less likely it is to pool or back up. Storm drains are designed to collect large volumes of water quickly and transport it safely away. Imagine pouring a bucket of water into a funnel. If the funnel is wide and steep enough, the water flows through easily. But if it's narrow or partially blocked, the water backs up and overflows. That's exactly what happens when storm drains get overwhelmed, or worse, clogged. That's why regular maintenance is critical. Leaves, garbage, and even pet waste can block the inlets reducing their effectiveness. Cities often run seasonal cleanup programs and encourage residents to keep drains clear of debris. Keeping storm drains working properly is a shared responsibility. 
While cities handle the big picture infrastructure and maintenance, everyday people play a crucial role too. Simple actions like not dumping oil, chemicals, or trash down the drain help protect the water quality. Raking leaves away from inlets in the fall or sweeping sidewalks instead of hosing them down can prevent clogs. Even picking up after your dog makes a difference because pet waste washed into drains carries bacteria into waterways. Some communities even have volunteer programs for monitoring and cleaning local storm drains. It's a reminder that this isn't just a city issue, it's a neighborhood one. You might be wondering, where does all that storm water end up? In many places, it goes straight into natural bodies of water, completely untreated. That's why it's so important to keep pollutants out of the drains. Oil spills, lawn fertilizers, and other runoff can end up in rivers and lakes, harming wildlife and ecosystems. Some modern systems do include treatment steps, like sedimentation ponds or constructed wetlands, to filter out contaminants before releasing the water. But not all cities have the resources for these upgrades. Looking ahead, stormwater management is becoming more sophisticated. Smart sensors are being installed in some cities to monitor water levels in real time and alert authorities when drains are reaching capacity. AI is even being used to model drainage patterns and predict flood risks based on weather forecasts. Urban planners are also integrating stormwater systems into the design of parks, plazas, and other public spaces, turning what used to be hidden infrastructure into visible, multifunctional landscapes. The future of flood prevention will likely combine traditional engineering with eco-friendly design and smart technology. So the next time you're out during a rainstorm and see water disappearing down a storm drain, you'll know there's a lot more going on than meets the eye. It's not just a hole in the ground. It's part of a finely tuned system protecting our cities from chaos every time the skies open up. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.